recent days, Prime Minister Netanyahu and IDF Chief of Staff Eisenkot have warned of tensions on the northern border and the possibility of warfare with Hezbollah. We spoke about the issue with Professor Ephraim Inbar, the head of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategic Studies. Why would we think that now is a good time for Hezbollah to heat up the, the border? I'm not sure that uh, Hezbollah really wants to heat up uh, the border. Uh, they are interested in getting uh, long-range missiles, and the Iranians are cooperating with it. Uh, particularly, uh, their attempt to build a, a new plant to produce long-range missiles. But this is a big threat for Israel. So it's a game-changer for Israel. Right. It's a game-changer for Israel, and Israel has to decide whether to preempt and prevent the establishment of this uh, plant, which uh, will also signal Israel's determination or how to prevent uh, Iranian advances elsewhere. Well, how, how many missiles can they have pointed at Israel? We're talking about hundreds or...? Uh, your audience probably doesn't know, but we are talking over 100,000 missiles. 100,000 missiles pointed at Israel. Right. There is no place in the world that uh, so many missiles are uh, uh, aimed at. And actually, I don't think uh, there is any army in the world that possesses so many missiles as Hezbollah does. So are there people in Israel that are thinking we may have to take preventative actions, we may have to strike first? Yes, definitely. Uh, there are people that, uh, of course, are not trigger happy. But uh, they understand that if they allow this plant to be built uh, on Lebanese soil uh, without Israeli uh, reaction, this uh, could signal to uh, the Iran that may uh, do other things and get away with it. We could take out this plant? Definitely. It's a large uh, plant. It is not easily hidden. Uh, we know where it is. Uh, Israel, fortunately, has uh, good intelligence, good gathering capabilities. In the 2006 war, we were also able to take out most of their long-range missiles. Is that still the case? You are correct. Uh, in the first day of the 2006 war, we were able to uh, destroy the long-range missiles, uh, primarily because uh, of their size. They, they are large and have a large signature and you can easily identify them from above. Uh, and this uh, could happen, uh, of course, again. But we don't want uh, the Hezbollah to possess this type of missiles who are now increasingly accurate. I was a reporter and editor back in 2006 and, and uh, was dispatched to the northern border. I, I witnessed uh, some of the fighting that went up there. It seemed to me that in many ways Israel was really unprepared for that war. Are we prepared for the next one? Uh, first of all, you are very correct that in 2006 we didn't do very well. Uh, since then, uh, I think uh, Israel uh, has learned uh, its lessons. Uh, we have uh, gone back to basics. Uh, we have uh, a better prepared army, a better equipped. Uh, I think also this time uh, part of the reserves are better uh, prepared, trained for uh, Lebanese scenarios. Uh, some of our uh, commander forces actually are training for uh, Lebanese uh, scenarios in Cyprus and in other places. The Israeli army was in South Lebanon for quite a number of years uh, and then we finally withdrew so you could see a scenario where we would be back in South Lebanon. Temporarily, yes, definitely. Yeah, this, is, uh, this is clear that we want to shorten the war. And one way of shortening the war is going uh, inside Lebanon and trying to hunt uh, all those missiles that are being fired at us.